And the search for justice in the murder of Agnes Wanjiru, a 21-year-old woman from Laikipia County, has finally made a breakthrough over a decade since she was murdered. Several soldiers from the United Kingdom who were training under the British Army Training Unit Kenya, that's Batuk, and who were present on the night of the murder have been interviewed. At last, two of the soldiers have strong cases against them, according to the lead investigator from the Directorate of Criminal Investigations. Gina Kirori has more. The final moments of Agnes Wanjiro's life go down in Kenya's history as one of the most horrific. The details of her murders quoted in a 2018 inquest into her death narrated the callous nature in which she was stabbed, drugged and thrown into a septic tank while she was still alive where she was left to die. However, since Agnes's murder on 31st March 2012, justice for Agnes appeared fallen as no progress on the investigations were being made. That is until recently, when officers from the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, DCI, were in the United Kingdom to interview soldiers who are training under the British Army Training Unit Kenya Batuk in Kenya under the Duke of Lancaster Regiment. DCI says they have found compelling cases against at least two of the soldiers who they have questioned. <laughs> While the argument had previously been that Kenya and the UK's different legal systems presented an obstacle in prosecuting the soldiers and that the British troops enjoyed immunity, a landmark ruling by Justice Kosi Bor in 2022 found that the relevant authorities of the host nation, Kenya, shall have jurisdiction over any member of the visiting forces, the civilian component or dependents for any criminal offense committed in contravention of any law of the host nation, customary international law, treaty or any agreement to which the host nation's government is a party, save for instances where under this agreement such jurisdiction is expressly conferred on the service authorities of the sending nation. DCI will now send a report to the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions who will decide if the evidence gathered meets the threshold for a warrant of arrest to be issued for the soldiers. This could also mean the possible extradition of the suspect into Kenya for trial. Ngena Kirori, NTV.